<laughs> Motherfuckers. What's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be a little bit of product news because holy shit. Go money back at it again with all this nonsense that they're doing. Let's see. What's worse than like completely nerfing the pendulum mechanic they've spent the last three years trying to bring into an actual like balanced yet good part of the meta game. What better to do that? Let's let's nerf that. But first, you know that structure deck that was supposed to be coming to the TCG, that pendulum evolution starter deck, structure deck, where they got the new pendulum magicians in the OCG. Say hello to the pendulum evolution set. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Oh my god. I've never seen such a blatant gash grab before in my fucking life. They took a starter deck and turned it into a sealed product set. That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. And of course, it's gonna be a set like, you know, the Secret Forces, like Fusion Enforcers. It's an all foil set. It's a hidden arsenal set. Which means there's going to be short print high rarity cards or even short print supers. So instead of spending $30 to get your completed pre packaged Pendulum Magician, New Era Pendulum Magician starter deck, you know, as a minimum investment for, you know, play for the next couple of months, or not even, whenever Nationals is over and Link Summoning completely like neuters the capabilities of what Pendulums are capable of doing, then. Now, on top of that, you had to spend more than $30 for this bullshit because you have to buy boxes upon packs of this set in order to make it. It's an all-foil set. Each pack includes an ultra and super rare cards. Um, and it's compatible with the pendulum monsters you already own, but specifically crafted to take full advantage of Maximum Crisis. And features several new cards plus dozens of the most popular cards from the Pendulum Monster era of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 anime TV series, that means that they are using this as a bullshit excuse to reprint all those shitty fucking Performer Pals that nobody ever fucking played, like Bubble Bow Wow and Slingshot Man, whatever the fuck his name was. <laughs> They're gonna reprint all of these. There's like 80 fucking Performer Pal cards. Do you know this? I know this. There's like 80 something Performer Pal cards, and there's only like 10 that are worth playing. This is gonna be a massive excuse to fill these packs full of these shitty, shitty Performer Pal cards. The only thing that I can hope for out of this is that we get like an Ultra Wisdom Eye Magician, a Hollow Pendulum Call, fucking Hollow like Light Phoenix and Odd Eyes Unicorn. And like hollow dragon pit and dragon pulse magicians. But goddamn, what a fucking cash grab. Nah, man, the players, they don't need to spend $30 on their pendulum structure decks, especially when it's gonna be basically nerfed to all hell literally like a month from now when the new rule set takes over. Nah, let's let them fucking pay for boxes of a new set that we're gonna put on them to basically just try and grab at every single bit and penny that we can squeeze out of the last push of the pendulum era. <laughs> what if Astrograph Sorcerer is one per box? That's like a key card. What the fuck is gonna happen here? I am so absolutely flabbergasted. I am so, 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 so unbelievably enraged, yet somehow not surprised. Oh, this thing comes out June 23rd. Man, we thought that Konami was releasing the Ancient Gear Starter Decks and the Dino Structure Deck. Like, we thought they were releasing those two at the same time so fast because they wanted to try and force this Structure Deck out to us as soon as possible. Man, Konami looking out for the players, man. Nah, man, Konami of the TCG is a bunch of cucks. And they just want to squeeze us dry for every penny that we're worth. As is typical fashion. I don't know why I'm complaining about this like it's something new. It's definitely been the case for literal years. But still, this is something. Oh, man. I've... In the past, they took starter decks and structure decks and just never released them to the TCG. But then they put them as OCG imports in the, like, sets that were coming out soon thereafter. They've done that before. But no, they just made an entirely new fucking set. <laughs> Whoa, what a next level play from our guys over at Konwani. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this absolutely nonsensical occurrence in the comments down below. Because, holy shit, I 
think that the intro to this video absolutely summed it up completely in its entirety with just maniacal laughter of also hopelessness. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, do all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Facebook page if you want to connect with me, chat with me, whatever. And also a link to my Patreon page if you want to support me directly. And also get in on a monthly giveaway. At the end of this month, I'm giving away a box of Raging Tempest. If you want to get in on a giveaway for that, then definitely go check that out. As well as just other ways to support me are very, very much part of that thing. So if you want to go check it out, definitely do so. But thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. I am absolutely fucking disgusted. <sighs> thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Let me know what you think. And take care, guys. Stay safe. I care about y'all. Don't do anything drastic because of this.